Test 8, Section 1, Number 4 reads, One pound of grapes costs $2 at this rate. How many dollars will C pounds of grape cost? And so you can set up a proportion. I like to set it up as one, I'm going to put LB for pounds is $2. And at this rate, how many dollars, so that's your X, dollars are on the bottom, and we'll see pounds cost, so C pounds. And LB, it's not a variable. That's just uh, keeping your spot so you know where to put stuff. And you know where to put stuff, here we've got pounds on top. So those have a relationship with each other. You've got dollars on the bottom. Those have a relationship with each other. These have a relationship with each other because it's $2 a pound. These have a relationship with each other because it's how much is C pounds. That's how you know you set up the proportion correctly. There's four correct ways to set it up. I could have also flipped this. Two over one equals X over C. And that's also set up correctly because I still have $2 is one pound. Those have a relationship on the left. Um, how many dollars is C pounds? Those have a relationship on the top, the, the right. The tops are now both dollars. The bottoms are now both pounds. And if you get, if you're picking up what I'm putting down over here, you could also say one pound equals $2. And then you could say C pounds equals how many dollars or you could flip that upside down and you'd have c over one equals x over two any of these four ways you set it up when you cross multiply and set equal you get 2c equals x 2c equals x 2c equals x 2c equals x so x equals 2c which is your answer a now if this way confuses you what you could do here's a alternative. You could pick a number for C. Let's say C equals 3. If in that case you read with uh, 3 in place and of your C over here. And let me read with 3 in place of your C. So 1 pound, you'd say 1 pound of grapes costs $2. At this rate, how many dollars will 3 pounds so you could write three pounds. And there you could see that if one pound costs two dollars, three pounds is gonna cost six dollars. And then what you do is you plug your three and for C into each answer choice and see what gave you the same answer you got before, which was six. And you see it works with the answer choice A, it does not work with B, C, or D. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who's not sure how to set up a proportion or with someone who does not know when there's variables in the answer choices, you can pick numbers. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.